It must be in the fucking water being force fed to the police. They must also be feeding it to the prosecutor and the politicians who obviously care nothing about the staccato of black bodies falling like leaves in Ferguson, in Cleveland, December in New York, and the world has lost its fucking mind. Christmas trees being erected like dicks amidst the groundswell of Bill Cosby accusers coming out of the closet of secrecy, synchronizing with stories about frat boys growing up rapists. All this as the national justice system wraps up pretty colored presentations to grand juries who collectively refuse to indict murderers captured on video set free by unpopular opinions that overwhelm the evidence available to anyone with a fucking cellular phone. I am holding my own sorrow for my own little girl, born black, in a country in which her brown body does not matter to anyone with any power. Being woman and black is hard in this topsy-turvy world where men are created equal when they are white and heterosexual. I am watching these murderers on repeat, the helpless bile rising angry in my chest. I am not feeling forgiving today. It is time for these oppressors to turn their fucking cheeks to the countless victims. These public killings are the modern day lynchings. These events amount to war against the poor. This is not a fucking video game. Those murdered men and women are not dominoes. These dead children belonged to parents who now mourn them without closure, without a day in court. We are moving backwards through history. Foolish as it might have been, we the people had swallowed the fallacy that trumpeted the end of a time when black mothers who lost children to white arrogance had no recourse. We believed our lives removed from that shameful time that supposedly ended with Emmett Till and Herbert Lee and Medgar Evers and Harriet Moore and Malcolm X. Back then there was no hypocrisy about the system being stacked against anyone with a smidgen of melanin staining the history of their skin. 50 years after the black civil rights movement, we are still not protected by the law. This is not what we voted for when we voted our first black president. This is not what our freedom fighters hoped for when they marched against segregation in Selma and Chicago and Birmingham and Montgomery. This is not the dream Dr. Martin Luther King died for in Memphis, Tennessee. 50 years later, race relations in America is still a fucking cauldron, bubbling angry under the ugly sweat of black despair and a lack of white accountability parading as a penal system in which 40% of those incarcerated come from a group which consists only 12% of the entire fucking population with numbers like that. What good does it do to comply with those in uniform? Shot at 12 for holding a toy gun, strangled in an illegal chokehold for selling loose cigarettes, arrested without cause for being too black or too loud or too much her own woman. These incidents filmed for the families to watch these murders played out on primetime TV. A system sworn to protect us owes us something when it fails. A system sworn to protect us owes us something when it fails. And when we deign to speak out against the system, we should speak in solidarity. Our sorrow must be one. Our rage must be one. With one voice, we have to call out the names of the dead, claim them as each our own. We must continue to say these names. Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Sean Bell, Yvette Smith, Sandra Bland could have been any one of us seated here this evening. <laughs> Victims all silenced by state-sanctioned executions. We have to find the courage to rise up. Even though it's frightening, we have to find the courage to rise up for them, for ourselves, for our children's children. It is time 
to raise more than our eyebrows in protest. It is time to put your body where you say your politics lie. This is not a moment to invoke a sweet by and by. This is a moment for action. This is a moment for civil disobedience. If there is any humanity left in you, get up, stand up, join a fucking protest. Pick up your fucking pen, write, scream, wail, march, meet, gather. We have to strategize. It is time to raise more than the roof on these motherfuckers. It's time for America to come to terms with a permanent fact of our black bodies. No matter what you do to our flesh, no matter how long you wage war against our spirit, we as a culture, as a people, we remain a force of resistance to the prolifer prol proliferation of white supremacy. No matter where you come from, no matter how you got here, inside these brutal walls of these United States of America, white power must always meet fire when they meet us. Inside the walls of this United States of America, white power must always meet fire when they meet us. Get used to us, white people. Learn to live alongside us. Make a decision to do right by us. Do it willingly or unwillingly. We don't fucking care. You white liberals in the audience, you have to find the words to speak to these white racist motherfuckers. You have to convince them to get with the motherfucking program because our black asses are never, ever, ever going away.